Hey beautiful people, welcome back to Two Cents Beat. My name is Sunny and today I am back with more Kimini Todoke from me to you. And okay, Chizuru is going through it a little bit right now, a lot, but she's got Sawako, she's got uh she's got Ayane, she's got her girls with her, and because of them, she was able to finally, finally let her emotions run free. <laughs> Ryo has also become aware a little bit of the situation. Like, he knew already about her crush, but now he is aware of what... of the things that he said... well, how the things that he said to Chizuru made her feel. So hopefully, this means that we can, um, kind of get some... some resolution between the two. Maybe not quite what I would want, which is, like, them to, you know end up together, but I, I I definitely think that's way too soon at the moment. I definitely think Chizuru still needs more time, right? But hopefully it's like a step in the right direction, you know? You know? I can't help but hope that they end up together somehow. So how about we just jump on into this episode and see where that leads us? Let's go. Also, it's been a minute since we've seen Kurumi. I can't help but wonder how she's doing. Like, I know she's in a completely different class and whatnot, but like... I wonder. I really wonder. How is she? I mean, we know she's definitely going through heartbreak, but I wonder, I'm wondering how she's dealing with it. You know, does she have a support group with her? You know? Oh. <gasps> so next day, after her. Back to her normal self. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mm. Mm, so she was still a little angry, maybe. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's thinking he helped her in a way. Which I guess he did, yeah. She's a little harsh. ちゃんと通るのかなしたかったんだろうなんで思ったら何好きあの、あれもしかして本気にあれ、もしかして本気にあれ、もしかして本気にあれ、もしかして本気にあれ、もしかして本気にあれ、もしかして本気にあれ、
I'm waiting for him to like let her down gently or something. I don't know, or like just. <sighs> Is he like leaving? Nobody makes her angry. I mean, oh yeah, true. I guess technically he did. Oh yeah. He's trying to put them together. Mm-hmm. Almost to a fault. <laughs> Oh, those kinds of fights. Oh. oh, that's so that's so heartbreaking. I'm glad he's not into her. Oh, he knew. Oh. Oh. Oh, cause he makes her smile. No. Oh. He was purposely always smiling at her. That's kind of heartbreaking. Like no matter what he was going through. Ah. Oh, she said it. What is he gonna say? What is he gonna say? No, he took it like that. He replied like that. No. Mm hmm. Oh my God. You're more adorable. Oh my god. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Like, he just always smiles. Like, no matter what he was going through in his life, he would always smile at her. Like, as a way to. Maybe as a way to keep some distance. No. Just chi. チーズ。お前もチームを器用な方じゃねえよな。うん。頑張れよ。チームを。兄貴。兄貴。俺もそう思うんだ。おお。てよ。リュウ。男の子。Like yeah, I know. Oh my god, that's terrifying. I can't do that. I hate the sea at night. It's like a fear. It's like a phobia. Oh. I can't. He's just, he just wants to be with you. Oh. 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 Mm. Oh, that hurt! <laughs> oh my goodness. I was not prepared. Ryu, why you gotta go and like... Ugh. Ryu, why you gotta go and like... 
like stir up emotions for no reason that was so unnecessary i mean it wasn't unnecessary it was just like so ah. it's like time passes and you don't know when the last time you do something will be until it is that last time and then you think back and you're like oh yeah that was the last time we blah 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 you know such and such thing occurred and maybe also because I am a little sister, so it's like... <sighs> Why is this series making me so emotional? Why am I so emotional? God, I'm over here crying. For, because of one line. But yeah, as a as a, also a younger sibling, I, kind, I understand Ryu's point of view where it's like, Oh, it's the last time we played together and stuff. So yeah, yeah. <sighs> but okay. Onward. Wait a minute. He's in high school, so he's like 15, 16. His brother's 24. It's like eight years. Wow. Wow. They have the exact same age difference that me and my older brother have. Damn. Damn, maybe that's why it's hitting me so hard. It's like, oh, oh my goodness. This just makes me want Ryu to be happy even more. I just want him to have happiness. Bruh. I'm over here crying. Stop crying. Okay, we need to get through this episode. Woo! <laughs> I won't. I'll just be here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. でしょ。ドルに半分くらいか聞いたら、ゆうにパンもらうからって。うん。いや、ドルも3時間半かけて聞けてる。おや、ドルにはパワーストレイ。でよ。あれだって。ピカシュ my god, the way they're like leaning into each other. Shut up! Stop! Ah! super emotional because of this episode like just ah ah i wasn't prepared for the nostalgia the the nostalgia punch that you gave us like like i was saying there's a moment where the last it's the last time that something happens and you don't know when that moment will be until it happens and you look back at that moment you're like oh yeah that was the last time and it's just like ah I don't know, it's just like a such a bittersweet. And then that on top of like Chizuru going through her whole like unrequited love situation where like I like I thought she in some way understood that it wasn't going to happen, but that didn't make the impact any less severe like the heart isn't about logic so even if she logically understood that Toru was never going to marry her she was never going to be with Toru it didn't make her heart any less fond of him I really appreciate that Toru came back and talked to her walked with her kind of like 
like one last time which i think is the point of this episode is that like as life goes on as as time goes on there will be a last time for everything like maybe um toru coming back to talk to chizuru was his way of saying this is the last time we'll be able to we'll hang out like how we used to i think that's why toru was so willing to drive back was because i feel they never really stated it explicitly but i i'm almost like a hundred percent certain that he knew that Chizuru had like a crush on him right even if he never like truly acknowledged it you know like even when he said like oh yeah I like you too it was more like keep once again keeping that distance which is something that I think we see with how he refers to her as Chi never her full name using that as like a means to never show her like any other side of him except him smiling because he sees her as a kid who needs like encouragement and stuff so it's like oh there's just a lot this this whole this whole arc was just there was a lot this arc a lot that I did not expect honestly I a lot that I did not expect coming out of Chizuru's story um I feel like there was even more depth with Chizuru's story than like with Kurumi's story. Granted, I feel like we're not done with Kurumi or even Sawako yet, or even Sawako's story, but we're definitely not done with Sawako's story. Just the fact that the story was able to include so much, um, so much depth with these characters, with their the story's message and the story's narrative within like... I don't know how many chapters, but like within three episodes is astounding. And they did it, the story did it so well, like nothing felt rushed. Uh, the character's emotions felt genuine. The conclusions felt like well-deserved, you know, they didn't feel cheap or anything. It's just, it was just so great. This, I honestly, I feel like I change this every time, but honestly, I feel like this has been my favorite arc within the series thus far like there was just so much so much goodness so much wholesome and like almost bittersweet emotions and stuff like ah it was so great so great <laughs> there's a lot of emotions <laughs> this episode so let me know what you guys thought of this episode and this whole arc or mini arc in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you like this video. Check out the main channel and my personal channel for more anime and manga content. Check out Patreon for early access and longer episode reactions. Don't forget to drink some water and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye. Let me stop talking about it before I keep crying on camera more and like it just becomes a blubbering mess of nothingness. Just, oh.